Hello everyone, welcome to today's tutorial video, where we will be placing LED strips within the cabinets. We'll be creating horizontally and vertically positioned LED strips and exploring how we can adjust their properties, such as color temperature and length. First, we will place LED strips with deflectors in the upper glass cabinet of the kitchen. Let's take a look at the finished visual design. Let's get to work. I select the necessary unit, where I'll place the LED strip. Clicking on the pencil icon takes me to the cabinet dialog. Before I start placing the LED strips, I adjust the 3D representation to without fronts, so I can see what I'm doing. The cabinet dialog now includes the LED lighting option, where I can place the LED strips. First, I need to choose the section, where I'll create the LED strip. I set the orientation, which can be horizontal or vertical. Now I choose the horizontal option. Then I specify the length of the strip. If the automatic length is enabled, the LED strip will be placed along the entire width of the section. If I disable this option, I can enter a custom value. Let's set the value to 1000 mm. I create the strip with a green tick. The program places it at the bottom of the section, so I need to move it. I offset it up, along the blue axis by 325 mm. I move it backward by 20 mm to accommodate the deflector. I want to place the LED strip in the remaining sections, with the same values. All I need to do is switch to the next section, and the program automatically applies the previously entered values, then I create the strip with the tick. I repeat this process for the other two sections. Once done, I create the deflector. I have already prepared this from a front, which has a total width of 1000 mm, and a depth and height of 20, 20 mm, so it reaches right in front of the LED strip. The deflector can be added under the accessories menu, clicking on the blue plus sign, I find it in my library. I move it out by 315 mm, then place it with the create button. It's now in front of the LED strip. I proceed to the next sections, creating them with the specified offsets. I repeat the process for the remaining sections. With that, I'm done. From the list on the right, I select the appropriate LED strip, then modify its properties by clicking on the pencil icon. Here, I can adjust its light intensity, dimming level, light color, and color temperature, using sliders. I won't make changes now. I step back, and reset the closed state of the doors in the 3D representation. I accept with OK, and I'm finished. Let's take another look at the image to see the result. Next, I'll also be placing horizontal LED strips, but this time within a bookshelf, spanning its full width. Let's switch to the next view. I've already placed some LED strips, we need to place three more. I aim to achieve the result shown in the image. Let's continue the work. I select the bookshelf, and enter its properties. I choose the appropriate section, and navigate to the LED lighting menu, to select the section, where I want to place the LED strip. First I choose the right one. With automatic length enabled, the program will place the LED strip across the entire width of the section. I offset it up by 570 mm, and back by 280 mm. I create it. I move on to the next section on the left, and do the same there. I repeat this for the elongated section, here I offset up the strip by 1170 mm. I'm done. I accept with OK. Now I'll show you how to simultaneously adjust the color temperature of the placed LED strips. If I select the cabinet, and scroll down to the bottom of the properties menu, I can turn the lighting on and off simultaneously. If the color temperature is checked, I can modify it by clicking on the edit button. In the last example, the LED strips will be in a vertical position. 
Let's switch to the next view, where I'll create a wall panel on the back, and I'll place the LED strips behind it. First, let me show you the finished visual design. Let's get to work. I previously created a 2750mm high, 1200mm wide, and a 600mm wide wall panel from a front. I'll use this now for making the wall decoration element. I create this under KBB menu, cabinet. I'll only use the back panel, so I hide all the other panels. Within the custom panel properties, I go through the list and hide the other panels. In the next step, in the default side properties, I select the pre-made wall panel. Clicking the plus button, I search for it in the library. I'll use the 1200mm one first. Under the first menu, I set the appropriate cabinet dimensions. I don't need the legs, so I set the space for the legs to zero. The total height will be 2750mm and the width will be 1200 mm. I set the depth to the same as, the thickness of the back panel, so 20 mm. With that, I'm done. I need to add more wall panel pieces. As seen in the visual design, this wall panel consists of a total of 5 pieces. I can add these under the accessories menu. Clicking on the blue plus sign, I find the 1200 mm wall panel again. I accept with OK, then create with the green tick. The program creates it where we placed the first one. I offset it to the right by 1100 mm, along the red axis, and back by 40 mm, so they overlap nicely. I'm done. Now I create the same for the left side, just offsetting in the negative direction. I need two more wall panels, this time the 600mm ones. Again, I click the plus button, and search for the 600mm wall panel, by clicking the blue plus sign. I move it to the right by 1910mm. I create it, so we can see. I move it back by 80mm to fit in place. I do the same for the other side. With that, the desired wall panel is done and now we can place the LED strips on it. To do so, I select the middle panel, then go to the LED lighting menu. Now I choose the vertical direction for placement, and leave the automatic length enabled. The LED strip is created in the middle of the wall panel, so I need to offset it in one direction. First, I move it to the right by 580mm, and back by 20mm. I zoom in to ensure it's in the right position. I create another LED strip on the opposite side, which I need to offset by minus 580mm. This one is done too. I still need to place two more LED strips. I select the green plus again. I offset it to the right by 1680mm, and back by 60mm. I create the next one which I shift by minus 1680 mm. It's nicely in place. We're done with this LED panel. Now all that's left is to place it. I want to show you that if I accept it with OK, and place this panel somewhere in the floor plan, I only see the first wall panel, that was used as the back panel. Part of the panel is in the wall, so it's not visible in 3D. So I need to go back to the editor, and switch its display to top view. This way, we'll see all panel units. I accept with OK, then I grab it with the move command, and place it precisely. We're done. Let's take one last look at the finished visual design. With this, we've reached the end of today's tutorial video. Thank you very much for joining me today. Have a great day. Goodbye.